Hello everyone. Now I am going to present a topic on new product development or development of a new product. Because of rapid scientific and technological advancements, changes are bound to take place in taste, fashion, likes, dislikes, customs and habits, comforts, etc. People always seek better and improved products in place of old ones to continue successfully in the market and earn more and more profit in the face of server competition a business firm must develop new products that meet the changing requirements of its customers so the new product development becomes an unavoidable necessity for a firm. The next question is, what is a new product? What is the meaning of new product? New product is a product which is a genuine innovation and which serves nearly a new function in an entirely new way or new product is a product which different from the competitor's product or a product is said to be a new product when consumer consider it has new or in another way new product is a imitation or modification of existing product the process of starting the production of a new product is called the process of product development. There are several stages in the development of completely new product. They are first one generation of ideas or search for new product ideas. New product development starts with generation of ideas. It means fusion of a perceived need with the recognition of a technical opportunity. It may originate from outside sources or within the firm. Usually, new product ideas may come from the firm's own research and development department or the salesman or the customer or the competitors or the government or the university and college research department or the trade laboratory uh, or the laboratories or the trade journals etc second one evolution or screening of product ideas all product ideas cannot be converted into products they should be screened and unworkable ideas should be deleted and feasible promising ideas should be selected for further processing so the second step in the development of a new product is the screening of product ideas. The main purpose of the screening is to give up the further consideration of those product ideas which are incompatible and inconsistent with the objectives and constraints. And the third stage is business analysis. Business analysis means evaluation of product ideas to determine its financial, competitive, manufacturing and marketing viability. This stage will be decide whether new product is worth or not. The marketing experts undertake marketing research to ascertain sales level for new product. They provide information on the following aspects, estimated demand, seasonal change demand and consumption, nature of competition, major competitors, price elasticity, cost volume profit analysis, channels of distribution, steps for patent rights, advertising, packaging, branding, etc. Next stage is product development. In this stage, the idea on paper is converted into physical product. 
lab test and the technical evaluation necessary to determine the production feasibility of the product are also made. And the next stage is test marketing. In this stage, the new product is actually tried out in one or few selected geographical areas to ascertain the feasibility of a full-scale marketing program. Test marketing firm decides to undertake large-scale manufacture of the new product or give up its manufacture. It is done by producers of consumer goods rather than the producers of industrial goods. And the last stage is commercialization or market introduction. It involves the launching of product with a full-scale marketing program, deciding product profiles, building up the requisite manufacturing and ancillary facilities and appropriate marketing program in the background of favorable and positive test marketing results and introducing new product in the market for sale. It may be noted that before introduction, management has complete control over the product. But once the product is born and enters into the enter into its life cycle, the management has little control, the only the external factors control it. Now the question is why the new product fail? There are certain symptoms of product failure. Those symptoms are declining sales volume, declining profit margin, higher cost of production than estimated at the time of product planning, higher investment than the estimated. According to National Industrial Conference surveyed 87 companies and attributed 8 factors. Those factors are inadequate market analysis, product deficiencies or defects, higher cost than anticipated, poor timing of introduction of the new product, competition, insufficient marketing efforts or lack of effective marketing efforts. Let us discuss the very important causes for the failure of new product. First causes inadequate market analysis. Inadequate market analysis is one of the important causes for the failure of the new product because it gives biased or wrong information and acting as per that information leads to product failure. Second point, product deficiencies, product deficiencies or defects. If there is any poor technical design or poor packaging or undependable performance and too high or too low in quality etc., it leads to the product deficiencies or defects and this leads to the failure of new product. Third point, higher cost than the anticipated. If the cost of the production higher than the anticipated then it leads to the higher prices and uh, higher prices leads to the lower sales volume. Next point insufficient marketing efforts or lack of effective marketing efforts. Failure to provide new market, improper selection of the channels of distribution and methods of physical distribution and methods of physical distribution leads to the failure of new product. Next point, wrong pricing policy of the firm. If the price of the product is so high that it fails to get demand, then product may fail. Next point, poor timing of introduction of the new product. If you want to introduce a new product, 
the new product should be introduced in the market at the appropriate time. If the product is introduced at the inappropriate time, it is likely to fail. Too late entry and premature entry will always lead to failure of the new product. The next point, competition. Before introducing a new product in the market, the management must find out the nature of competition because the competitor's strength would create problems for the successful marketing of the new product. Next point, technical or production problems. In the initial stage, a firm may not be in a position to produce sufficient quantities to meet the market demand. In such a situation, the competitors will gain anticipated share in the market and this would lead to the poor sales and result in product failure. Next one, inadequate sales force. Sales force must be efficient and adequate. If the sales force is not adequate and efficient, it leads to product failure. And the last point under the causes of failure of new product is weakness in distribution. The new product should reach the right market at the right time and the right price so that the consumers come to know of the new product and start buying it. But if the distribution system is weak, it may end in future. Next, what are all the measures to be taken for controlling the product failure? There are many measures we can take for the controlling product failure. They are undertaking survey, improved screening and evaluation of the product ideas, strengthening research and development, effective improvement in production and quality, continuous and efficient demand, designing efficient organizational structure and rescheduling entire process by undertaking the consumer test. Thank you.